Ushona Hope Long asked in one of my older videos about direct democracy, essentially the question if we put an incentive to voting, would more people vote? Essentially yes, but the quality will fall. Let me put you through that. Let's imagine this orange disc here are all the people within your country, should they all vote? All means newborn, the senile, tourists, illegal migrants, should they all be able to vote? I even heard the idea that animals should vote via proxy if they realize that. I got myself an ant farm by the way. However, most society answer this with a clear no. Most nations agree that kids are not fit to vote. But from that point on it differs from nation to nation, from era to era. In the past in most European nations only the men were allowed to vote. In some cases you had to have a permanent home for some time so or you have to pay taxes to be allowed to vote. In any way symbolized by this blue disc, this is the amount of people who are allowed to vote. For all you mathematic freaks out there who want to calculate areas now, no, this graphic is not in scale to anything. From all these people who are allowed to vote, do they all know what they are doing or are there some people who are more informed and generally spoken more fit to make decision? that benefit not just themselves, well even the Marxists normally agree there. So symbolized by this green disc, this is the amount that is really really fit for the participating in politics. And this now is who votes. You see most of the people who are fit do vote anyway and even if they vote blank they participated. Some of them don't. Of course a lot of them who do not vote should not and only a few who do not vote should. So if you create an incentive for voting, be that the carrot or the whip, you get those but you also get these. If you give people money for voting they will vote with a dice. What most of us really really want is to expand those who are really really able. If each and every one is able, governments become obsolete by the way. How to get there? Well I would suggest the opposite of rewarding for voting, make it cost something. Things that are not free are held dearer by people than free stuff. If you create something in the line of a voting driver's license that consists of an educational part and a test and some costs, what may happen? I guess that those who do not want to vote anyway won't acquire this piece of paper and save the money and the time, but those who do, these guys have now something in their hands that has a value and they will think a bit more about what they are going to do with a, such a valuable item that has a 4 year cooldown. Based on how hard it is to get such a paper this thing will become also a status symbol forcing those who are not fit right now from the start to become fit to get it. What's the motivation? Well the voting itself I would say no that's not the motivation but you would have to have it to attract girls. Because this thing is literally a piece of power which is something most women like in a guy. The problem here is the balance between who gets it and who should not and those who should get it and don't get it. But I am pretty sure this will lead to a bigger pool of able people which is more important than bringing the unable into participation. What are your thoughts? Let me know. I pretty much read all of your comments. I wanted to make this video anyway but this comment was indeed a motivation to make it today rather than in the nebulous future because at least one of you cares about it. So thanks for watching, like, share, comment, subscribe, invest a buck on Patreon in your favorite talking ferret. Special thanks to those of you who already do and have a wonderful time.